Welcome to a balancing act. In this lesson I'm learning that the answer on the left hand side of the equal sign is the same as the answer on the right hand side. Let's start with this one here. Um, 4 plus 3 is equal to 2 plus something. So whatever number I put in here is going to make this side balance with that side. Now we could imagine this a little bit like a seesaw. The equal sign is the fulcrum, and on this side I've got four things here, I've got three things here, I've got two things here, and I'm thinking, what do I need to put here to make these sides balance? Well, one way I could do is go four plus three, that equals seven, so two plus something must equal seven. Well, I know that two plus five equals seven, one, two, three, four, five. So if I put five on this side, that means these two sides balance. Let's have a look at another one, another easy one. Let's do uh, three plus two is equal to two plus something. But from now on, rather than working out how much is on one each side, let's see if we can spot a pattern which will help us work it out. Well, you can see on this side, there's a 2, and this side there's a 2, so if we forgot about the 3, this is balancing at the moment. But now we've got a 3 on this side here, so to make it balance, we must have to put a 3 on this side. So now you can see that we worked out this question without having to, work, without having to add up how much is on each side. Let's try another uh, question. Let's try a bigger one. Uh, 73 plus 21 is equal to 74 plus something. Well, the way I like to do this is I like to imagine uh, like, a, like some pictures. This big bar here or big building represents like seven, my 73 and this little one represents my 21. There's my equal sign or my fulcrum. Now on this side, I need another tower that represents 74. And now you can see this tower is just going to be slightly bigger than that 73. So I'm going to draw one and you can see it's just a little bit bigger than that one. So now if this tower is bigger than that tower, to make these sides uh, balance, my little small tower is going to have to be a little bit smaller than that one. See, this one's a little bit bigger than that one, so this one here has to be a little bit smaller than that one over there. Well, a little bit smaller than the 21 would be 20, because see, this number is one bigger than that, so this number has to be one smaller than 21. Let's try another one a bit like that. Um, 84 plus 19 is equal to uh, something plus 20. So I'm going to imagine my picture again. There's my big 84. Here is my 19. Now on this side I've got 20. Now 20 is just a little bit bigger than 19. So you can see that this bar here is just a little bit bigger. Now if this one is bigger than that one, then my then my big number is going to have to be just a little bit less than that to make it balance. Well, this number here you can see is one bigger than that one, so that means that this number here is going to be have to be one smaller than that number. So that means this number must be 83. Let's finish by having a look at uh, a couple of subtraction questions. Let's do 37 minus 19 is equal to 38 minus some amount. Well remember this is a subtraction question so we're going to have to go about it a little bit differently than we did with these two up here because they were addition questions. For these subtraction questions I like to imagine uh, a wee little number line, and on it I've got my 37 and my 19, I've got my num those numbers from over here, 
And since it's subtraction, I'm trying to find what the gap is between those two numbers. Now here, you can see I've got 38. Now if I was to draw my line from there all the way up to 38, you can see that that gap is bigger than this gap here. So that means they wouldn't be equal. The only way to keep this gap the same is going to be to make this one also one bigger. So you can see it would be 20. Now if I did a wee line up to there, you can see this distance now is about the same, or exactly the same, as that distance there. So uh, 38 is one more than 37, so I needed to make 20, because that is one more than 19. And by having both of these numbers one bigger than these numbers, it kept the, di the distance between those two numbers exactly the same. Let's try one last one. 2040 minus 60 is equal to 2030 minus something. Just running out of room there a little bit. Well, just like uh, last time I'm going to draw a number line, I'm going to put 2040 on it and 60 and I'm imagining the distance between those two numbers. Now you can see that this side's a little bit different. I have got 2030 on here, so I'm going to imagine that that's that point. Now, to make a line which is exactly the same length as that one, I'm going to have to go back a little bit further than 60. In fact, since this number is 10 less, I'm going to have to go back 10 less than 60, which means this point must be 50. So 2040 minus 60 is equal to, or balances with, 2030 minus 50. See how this number is 10 less, and this number is also 10 less, and that kept the distance between the numbers the same. Hopefully you found this lesson helpful. For more help, check out teachertools.co.nz.